Jesus said, whoever wants to become great among you must be a servant. He then demonstrated this by washing his disciples' feet, a task only slaves would do at that time. My name is Joy Darby and I've been in Laos for nearly two decades now. Well, we are about 19 years and then so. My first experience of washing up the feet, of course I, I grew up as Catholic back home in India, so it's very regimented, very religious and so on. So that's my first experience. I, I don't think I want to talk about that today because in 2024, what does that mean to be, you know, to be still, you know, to be still able to, to carry that, you know, history or tradition and so on. And for me, I think it's about accepting, of course, it's about reminding ourselves, reminding our vulnerability, reminding about, um, you know, about our humility to each other, you know, that um, I'm there, you know, uh, I'm here. Hey, I'm Stacey, I'm Lash Love Pools community leader and I've been part of the community for 20 years, or over 20 years. What makes me proud is that Liverpool was the first community to do this, and of us to do this celebration, um, and that we've kept the tradition going. So we've got people part of our community who were there at the very beginning, and now each community internationally does it on, on Monday, Monday Thursday. So that makes me quite proud that that tradition is still going, that it's still important to our community, as well as to the Lash Federation. What I think it means to our community is pretty much what I've already said about everyone being equal, a place to be human, a place for us to serve each other, and actually a place of respect and for us to come together. Um, Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. And I just think that's that's what encapsulates that service. My name's Julia Buckingham and I've been in Laosh on and off since 2000. So like 23 years or something like that. And um, I work at the moment as community life coordinator and also supporting Chris with bits and pieces of admin. The washing of the feet is something which I like because we all come together and um, I, I like the chance to see people that I don't usually see. I like getting together, sharing food together. I like that it's a symbol of things which everybody can join in. That it's not, I'm an assistant and you're a manager and you're a leader and you're a person with a learning disability. It's something that we can, we can all do. What it means to me now is a place to save us, where we're all equal. We are all doing something to look after each other and it's really actually quite powerful and moving. And what I notice is that actually our community is really busy, hustle and bustle, very noisy. But at that time, there's time of peace, a time of respect, a time of mutuality. There's no hierarchy. It's one of the us, and that's what I love for boxing. And particularly in a leadership role, people forget sometimes that you're a human as well. And so in that place at that moment in time, I can just be Stacey, a community member, and I love that. Because there's not many places that I can do that now within this role. See you.
My name is Sister Maureen Kalista Okay, okay. I've been in large for the past two years, personally in the washing of the feet, just like as I am a Christian from the Christian background now, for the not a part of it from the in injunction I will say for the practice that was performed in the Bible for us by Jesus to wash one another's feet. Um it's a sign of humility for me and it's also a sign of loyalty because it's not just easy to wash anybody's feet and just washing the feet is like just not just practically washing the feet. It implies in relationship with people and the way I go about it then humbling myself, doing things with them for them. You know, that's kind of semi tuned. Yeah, so as far as the core members are concerned, you know, that how do we make it inclusive? What does that mean for them, you know, in, in the washing of the feet, you know? Again, it's about day in, day out. It's a, and, But this particular event, you know, on the Thursday, it reminds us, you know, that take a pause, you know, take a, take a second to listen, go on that level to, to have that eye contact, to have that, 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 connection again that I'm here you know and the core and this is that the role is reversed you know the role is reversed where core member is telling you I am here. The celebrations have to evolve so that's okay so if you don't like your feet being washed you can have your hands washed if you're not comfortable with that you can have a blessing I think you have to make it as inclusive as possible and it will change and evolve so the next generation of community leader may do it in a different way and that's good and that's how it should be. The whole portion of the faith is community, service and love.